Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Truth Behind MIUI Updates and this particular season is all about the K20 Pro. So far, we've had two episodes. This is the third one. In the first one, we had 10.3.3. We measured the performance. Then we updated to 10.3.5. Again, did the same thing. Some interesting results there. Now, we have moved on to 10.4.7, which is the first update to come out with Android 10. We have some very interesting results. You might have guessed that from the title, but nonetheless, let's get into the video. Let's look at the benchmarks and let's see how it goes. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community. Please help us get 1000 subscribers there because we are almost there. And last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so first things first in the about section, you do see that the MIUI version is 10.4.7 and you do see that the Android version is Android 10. That is, yes, not really the latest, but yes, it did get the 10 update. And the security patch is 5th of September 2019. Now, this as always is my 6 gigabyte, 128 gigabyte K20 Pro. I've recently manually updated it because of several reasons. Nonetheless, I'll tell you, they did make some changes here and some changes there. And I was pleasantly surprised by, you know, how smooth and snappy the ROM felt and things were better overall. But when I actually looked at the benchmark numbers, things were not so ro rosy. And you know, the app launch times and the app launch speeds as well, I did notice something. Now you do see over here that it's relatively fast when compared to MIUI 12. But if you launch it over here, yeah. Now, you should actually go ahead and have a look at my previous two videos of MIUI 10.3.3 and stuff. So I don't know what is it with Android 10 that actually slowed down the phone because the benchmarks have a very, very surprising result to be shared with us. We will go ahead and check that. We will go ahead and, you know, analyze that. But nonetheless, as far as, you know, slowing the phone down is concerned, overall in terms of app launch and everything, it's sort of okay, but you do feel that, you know, maybe Android 10 has burdened the phone or Xiaomi has done something wrong with the first ever MIUI uh, 10 update with Android 10 for the K20 Pro that something went wrong or, you know, they probably went and bogged down the performance. I don't really know what was the case of September 2019 because this phone was fairly, I don't know, six, eight months or maybe even a year old at that point. And there could be several reasons why, you know, Xiaomi could be de behaving differently to give an update to K20 Pro at different stages. And trust me, I have experienced that. Another thing to cover here about the 10.3.3 and 10.3.5 update is as many of you have been saying, the gyroscope starts having problem the moment you downgrade to that ROM. That is absolutely right. But if you OTA to 12.0.4, it works fine. For me, I have not tested it on this particular ROM, but I can quickly show you how we can go ahead and test it to make sure that, you know, if any of y'all want to actually go down an Android version on the K20 Pro, you don't really have any problem. So you see the kernel version, keep tapping, right. Now you'll go to a test menu over here if you go at the bottom. So yeah, in the Android 10 update, at least the gyroscope for the K20 Pro is working fine. So no sensor issues there. I mean, for that matter, even the front camera for me is working absolutely fine no problems at all there. So that's all good. Now we talk about the interesting part. We will talk about the benchmark numbers. First, I'll show you the benchmark numbers on individual benchmark apps, and then we will have a look at the chart and sum up this particular episode. So first things first, we will talk about end to benchmark. Now, don't be surprised. 425,801. Even if we go to the individual benchmarks, well, CPU is 133, 230. GPU is 174, 146, memory is 55, 496, and UX is 62, 929. That was the story about Antutu. It is it has lost a considerable amount of points. I can I can only tell you that. We'll 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 share that info as well. Now let's go to my favorite benchmark. It's more accurate. Single core 619 and multi-core 2524. Okay. 
interesting to look at the chart now next up we will talk about 3d mark not the camera mark 3d mark yeah so 3d mark my device my results now i did notice this over here you may experience graphical corruptions with this version of android and or graphics hardware benchmark scores are not affected now i don't really know if this warning has got something to do with the low score but if you look at the graphical performance yeah and mind you these benchmarks are individually done like if i do antutu before doing that i switch off the phone i keep it switched off for 10 to 15 minutes then turn it on make sure nothing is there in the memory and then run the benchmark once that is done turn the phone off again and repeat the procedure for all the three benchmarks so in all probability this should give us the best score because there is very less potential for any thermal throttling or anything of that sort to happen but this score my friends i don't know if they calculate the scores on android 10 differently because it does say that the redmi k20 pro does get 2300 well then did we get the numbers wrong i don't think so because like this was the same app i mean so that's the three you know apps in which we check the benchmarks let's now move to the chart okay now let's talk about antutu first now antutu is a benchmark which is usually stable across all different updates not because that is a good thing but that is how phone companies are designing their phones and software you know the moment they detect antutu is running they will give it all the boost all the performance and it'll make sure that you get in the ballpark of the same figure as you got when you bought the phone so Antutu on 10.3.3 was 439,112 and then we moved to 10.3.5 which is still Android 9 we went above like I don't know a thousand points 800 points increased 440.283 and we come to 10.4.7 which is the first ever update to come with Android 10 425.801 so we lost around I don't know 14,000 points that's not you know something that you should worry about but yes in my books that is a substantial decrease now across the board when we move on to geekbench single code first update 621 10.3.5 somehow they did a great job and single core 749 and then again miui 10 android 10 10.4.7 single core 619 multi-core 2524 so the single core is lower than the first update it's more or less the same and even the multi-core is like 50 points here and there so that is also still fine now we move on to 3d mark 3d mark 10.3 now remember 3d mark is a graphic intensive test so it tests your gpu performance overall how well a game can be played and all so uh, 3d mark in miui 10.3.3 based on android 9 was 4889 then we move to 10.3.5 now i have to tell you I have to tell you 10.3.5 with Android 9 for me so far has performed pretty decent. Not to say that that is the best update. Remember we are yet to test the European version. After testing all the updates that were given to Rafael in that is the Indian version of K20 Pro. So yeah 5250 and that, that's on MIA 10.3.5. Now we got 2 triple one. Yeah I mean either there is something drastically wrong. One of you can let me know in the comment section or yeah i don't know i'm going to do a live stream with this if i get the time because there are these two phones as well with which i have to do live stream i will test the performance and all and i'll let you know in the next episode but for now what i can tell you is that we were here then we went here and now we are here again so overall you know they did a very good job with the 10.3.5 update but the moment they came up with the android 10 version for the k20 pro performance has gone down the app launch speeds i feel you know by a millisecond or something might have been different it could just be me behaving like an idiot but i did notice it and it is my job to let you guys know what i experienced that is the whole point of this particular series now a lot of talking in this video which makes it even more interesting it sets the bar even high for the next update to fix the issues that we are having let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care goodbye